meet a bear scientist. You would never wake up a sleeping bear. It's too dangerous. But scientists who study bears do. Ray Wynn Grant is one of those scientists. She goes into bears' dens to get up close with the bears. She wants to see where the bears are and make sure they are healthy. Hi, I'm Ray Wynn Grant, and I'm a wildlife scientist. I study a number of different wildlife species, but currently my projects focus on bears. Bears usually hibernate when it's cold, but it's not because it's cold. It's actually because the ecosystem, when the snow falls, isn't really producing a lot of good bear food. You might think hibernation is really just going to sleep for the winter, but it's actually a lot more complex than that. Black bears as a species don't actually go into a full hibernation. They can wake up. When black bears hibernate, they essentially slow down their bodies and take a long rest. So their breathing slows down um, to just a few breaths a minute. Their heart rate slows down and it pumps blood very slowly. Their bodies begin recycling nutrients and waste. So black bears don't use the bathroom at all for five or six months while they're hibernating. One of the coolest things about black bears is that they give birth during hibernation. So a mother bear will start hibernating when she's pregnant, and at some point in the month of January, she will give birth to usually two or three small cubs. When they're born, they're very, very small, maybe six or eight inches, and they are hairless and blind, and it's relatively painless for the mother to give birth and the little newborns just crawl on up and start nursing milk from their mother, and they stay nursing for the three or four months that they continue to hibernate. And so although it's cold on the outside, the mother bear has created a den that is quite insulated. So she will often pad it with some type of vegetation, so whether like straw or grasses, and usually the opening to the den is quite small. And more than anything, she uses her own body heat to make sure that the cubs stay warm. So they will almost always be right by her side. If not nursing, they'll just be sleeping with her. The cubs eventually will start to become bigger and fatter and they will have enough of their own body fat to keep warm on their own. And that's when they know they're ready to leave the den. Part of my work is to capture bears in order to put a collar on them. The collar is almost like a very big dog collar, but it has a device on it called a GPS tracking device, almost like something you'd find in a cell phone. The cool thing about GPS units is that they work with satellites. So the bear will have a collar on with the little device, and it sends a signal to a satellite in outer space, which bounces back and sends a signal to my computer. And that allows me to know where the bear is at all times. Why does Ray want to know where the bears go? Bears need food. And sometimes they go looking for it in places where humans live nearby. If Ray and the other scientists know where the bears like to go to find food, they can help make sure that the bears and the humans stay safe. But first, Ray has to get the GPS collars on the bears. How does she do it? I have collared a number of female black bears during the summertime. What I do is I find where they are and then tranquilize them, which essentially means giving them a little shot so they fall asleep. Once they're asleep, they're safe for me to approach and handle. I just attach the collar, make sure the GPS device is on, and then leave and make sure she wakes up. This is great because the following winter, I'll know exactly where she's made her den. Going into the den will allow me to count where her cubs are. In the wintertime, I look for female bears again. Because they have a collar with a GPS unit, I'll know exactly where to find them in the forest. When we find the mother bear in her hibernation den, the first thing we do is give her a tranquilizer, which keeps her asleep. Once we know that she's fully asleep, we're able to go in and we pull out the cubs we weigh them, we measure them, and we give them a little ear tag so that we can identify them in the future. 
because we have to pull the little baby bears out of the den, we have to make sure that they stay warm. The best way to do that, since they don't have a lot of body fat yet, is to keep them close to our own bodies. The first thing I always do is put the baby bear right into my coat and zip it right up. I think bears look really cute, you might think so too, but remember they're wild animals and they can be extremely dangerous. The best thing is to always give them their space, know that this is their home and we're just a part of it visiting.